what's up beautiful people listen to Roma. welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video from pink book lessons and it's titled popular tiktoker help failing food truck owner who later refused to distribute tips from kids lee interesting i'm excited to hear what pink book lessons i've got to say on this one let's check it out i'm big on integrity i'm big on doing what's right i came out there and i helped you for free i stood in that little bit hot mother food truck to help you because my friend asked me to and this is the thanks that i get i couldn't even get a thank you from you at the end of the day bro like come on the man walked up and literally said i seen your life i seen this live the wife even said hey sherelle let me see that cheer was, was nobody on the live like come well i know y'all was on the live but come on bro you got your kids in the background fighting for you like it ain't even your kids it's that one lady who didn't even want to get in the food truck with you in mm. the first place that's how I ended up there. If your kids really gave up, I would have been at home in my bed. TikTok food reviewer Keith Lee took his show on the road and he's been going from city to city for months now highlighting small food businesses and as a result he's been driving traffic to struggling establishments. At this point everybody knows when Keith Lee shows up and gives a business a positive review the business is blessed with lots of mm. customers right away. No different with his latest stop in North Texas the Dallas area Keith showed up to a struggling food truck. He gave them a decent review too. I got it, let's try it and rate it one to 10. He spent $80.11. We are in North Dallas, Texas. We in a hood, I'm not gonna say it no other way. We in a hood. They outside cutting hair, doing braids, waiting on us. They both on live at the same time, him and his sister, but they outside ready. So we had to be double O this whole time. I'm talking about double O seven agents. It's a party out here. The custom service, my family said was pretty good and it was alive the whole time. So we can kind of see it. Only thing is the only person cooking is the mama. So if you do come, please be patient. It's only one person mm. there cooking, but it's a lot of people. So she got the option to have a lot of hands. Keith paid for his food, but also wanted to bless the owner and other people that he saw hustling up there. He gave the owner a $2,000 tip to keep to herself. Wow. He wanted $1,000 to go to a woman that was helping her on the truck and another $1,000 for that woman's brother who was a barber out there. And then on top of that, he paid over $800 to cover free food for customers wow. that day. In total, they charged his card an additional $5,200 and Keith expected the business owner to distribute those funds accordingly. Well, as soon as he walked away, the owner of the truck said, forget this free food. I'm charging everybody. She said, I'm not giving no money to the man that was cutting hair or the woman that was helping her. Yes, the owner of the food truck made the decision to keep all of the money to herself, causing a big fallout on social media Me? between the owner of the food truck, her son, who's also a very popular TikToker, Ignorant Trey, and the woman who was helping on the truck, another popular TikToker, Sherelle Hodge, hmm. they've been windmilling on these social media streets and right now we're gonna get down to the bottom of it. Who's right in this situation? Who's wrong in this situation? You know I'm gonna tell you nothing but the truth, but first, take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. A lot of lessons to learn here, but the main lesson today is how not to block your blessings by being exactly. greedy. Keith Lee is officially in Dallas. I asked him for help and come to visit my mom's food truck to hopefully turn it around. She is an award-winning pastry chef and she is a culinary chef. She has two degrees. We are just from Milwaukee and here in Dallas, it's kind of hard with the marketing because we don't know our way even around yet. Well, we here. I got it. Let's try it and rate it one to 10. One of the main things I will say in my opinion, the marketing does need a lot of help. There's no menu on the brother's page, on the sister's page or the mom's page. I feel like a menu with prices should definitely be top priority. That and a website change, in my opinion. I appreciate the invite. And mama, you might need some more hands back there. No promises, it might get a little crazy. Before we left, we went and had a conversation with the mom and we thanked everybody for having us. Me and the mama prayed together and we left a $4,000 tip behind. God, it's amazing. Mm. I appreciate y'all for having us. I see y'all giving out haircuts and doing braids. So we want to leave $1,000 to the barber so we can trust everybody here for free. We want to leave you $1,000 to the here. And after this, I pray and I hope you reach your target audience. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe.
So Keith Lee gave them a good review. And in addition to that $4,000 tip, he gave almost another $900 so that the owner can give away free mm. food. They charged all of this to his credit card with taxes, a total of $5,200. And everything was going well until Sherelle, the woman that was out there helping the lady at the food truck, and he saw her braiding hair, she came out and exposed the owner of the food truck for refusing to distribute the money. What's up, y'all? I bet you're wondering how we got here. Well, let me tell you. So a lot of y'all know yesterday I got to meet Keith Lee. Great. Congratulations. I'm still humbled by the experience. Like, I am ecstatic. Blessings to your family. I really appreciate you. But now this is where the downfall comes in. A lot of y'all was on my live when he said this. I see y'all giving out haircuts. <laughs> oh, little brother, yeah. yeah. He wants to give a thousand dollars to the barber. So he can cut he, everybody. Oh, that's my little brother. He wants to go pick up my baby brother for school. We want to leave you a thousand dollars to the hair. We want to leave you two thousand dollars. And granted, everything was cool, right? Me being me and thinking everybody else is going to have the same genuine heart as me, I charged him $4,000 on his car, meaning all the money went to the food truck in hopes that she would do what she needed to do, right? Wrong. So after everything had died down, mind you, on top of him tipping $4,000, this man left an extra $886 to feed everybody else that was coming, right? Right, but this is where she went wrong. I'm in the truck, mind you, I'm a worker. This is your business, so I'm doing what you say. She tell me after this person, which is a third person, that you gotta start charging again, hmm? Now it's one thing when he say I'm leaving this for free and for somebody to come and order like one of everything on the menu and try to get both desserts and drinks. Like, yeah, you can put a limit on that. But if this man left you almost a thousand dollars, why the did you stop handing free food out after the third person? Wow. And see, right there out the gate, from what Sherelle is saying, the owner of the food truck, she did not have good intentions. He spent almost a thousand alone for her to feed people. And basically, right after he left, she went rogue. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with Sherelle. This woman was being very shady. Hmm? Someone else's money. The person already paid for food, for the food to feed other people. She wanted to color be the money. Or she wanted to take the money and not deliver or give it out. And she is out here wondering why, or she will be wondering why people don't purchase or buy food from her because she's evil and her heart is dark. Because how can you be so callous? Someone's off, someone offered to give free food to people, but no. Everything he paid he paid not that he did not pay he paid but she decided no she was gonna hide the money and start and charge the people she's not gonna give it to them they don't deserve it she deserve it how this is wickedness but yeah let me know what you guys think but yeah let's continue it's shady hmm? make it make sense so all right everything was cool it was time to close in you know my friend done ran to the store he helping his mom he coming out his pocket with his own money and i looked at her and i was like so keep lee literally just spent fifty two hundred dollars with you she was like girl i know i'm so excited like before i got on here i was broke and before y'all come for me talking about don't be releasing no personal information it got personal when you play with my baby brother so everything was cool calm and collect right she told me she said look I just want to let you know it'll be about a day or two before you guys get your money. I work with Square. I've been running my business for the past four years with Square, so I know exactly how it works. But if you've been running this business for years, your money going to clear the next day, correct? So this morning we got up. Mind you, I'm thinking I got to go back to help her because yesterday you ain't have nobody that wanted to work for you. You get what I'm saying? So my friend had me come and help you, and then my brother was really only out there, but you somehow trying to make it seem like, my brother was giving free haircuts when he was posting flyers hmm. with his pr prices on. Come on. So then I wake up today. People hit me up talking about, we want to make your menus. We want to make your flyers. Da -da 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 -da. My main thing was, I'm not the face of this company. You get what I'm saying? I'm not the face of this company, but I can put you in contact. If you go through my comment section, you will definitely see where I'm tagging her business over and over and over because people thought it was my so I hit her this morning and was like, Kim, you have workers today? Also, there's a guy who's wanted to do your menu and flyers for you, so I'm sending him your number. Who is this? Sherelle. Yes, I have workers for today, and you can send me his info. Thank you. That was it. So I respond back. I will send you his Instagram, and did you see if your money cleared? You can keep the money that was left for me, but my brother is preparing to leave and go back home, and I'm unsure how he'll get it once he leaves. 
Granted, all I had to do was send it to her or she could have sent it to her, whatever. She said, please call me back so an agreement can be made. But before we even got to those messages, she called me and she was just like, well, I didn't invite your brother to come out there and cut hair. I didn't invite you. My son invited you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give $1,000 to my son and he'll give y'all whatever it is he see fit out of there. Hold on, ma'am. Really? Oh, my God. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> this is normal. <laughs> Wow, this lady is super trifling. Number one, she had no help the day before. She had to use Sherelle's free help. But the next day, when Sherelle is hitting her up and saying, do you need people today? She said, oh yeah, I'm good, I got people. Mm -hmm. No, she didn't want her to come back because mm -hmm. she didn't want to have to pay her any money. She had no intention of cool. giving this woman that money. And maybe Sherelle was able to sense that and to avoid the drama, she was just like, just go ahead and give my brother his money. You can keep mine. For the woman's excuse to be, oh, I didn't call y'all out there anyway. It doesn't matter who called them out there it doesn't matter how they got out there you didn't do all that exactly. complaining when she was out there helping you keith gave you the money and told you to give it to them here's two thousand dollars for you and two thousand for them one thousand for sherelle the other thousand for her brother hold on now i did you a solid by saying i get money when i opened my eyes this morning i had a deposit for fifteen hundred dollars you get what i'm saying and i made money since so i, I told you to keep my money but I was more so pressed about the issue of my brother. Keith Lee don't know my brother. My brother don't know Keith Lee. My brother don't know any of y'all out here. But when you gave him the green light to post his flyers, after he cut both of your son's head, yes, they paid. He wasn't cutting nobody's hair for free. Who the put that out there? If you cut it here for free, why are you posting flyers with prices? You get what I'm saying? There's a girl on Facebook, hold on, whom I'm assuming is her oldest son's wife, fiance, whoever she is, this is all lies, just like the free cuts were, because people had to pay. Of course they had to pay. The two people here that he cut was both of the owner's sons. So why the f would he be giving the owner's sons, whose mom is getting visited by Keith Lee, free cuts? You get what I'm saying? Because it was never advertised. But then I later found out my friend had said he assumed that he was giving free cut. No, he pulled up to the area because he saw it as an opportunity because we couldn't make it to Jonathan's shop to meet him in time. No one, y'all didn't hear it on my face. Y'all didn't see it on my platform. Y'all didn't hear it on my brother's mouth say, I'm giving free cuts, pull up to the spot. Do you know how many people would have pulled up? Keith Lee probably was under the assumption. But yeah, he didn't even say it. Let's be honest, Keith Lee didn't even say, it. oh, I'm giving you $1,000 because. He said, I'm giving you $1,000 so you can go and get free haircut but we couldn't even make it out there to get free haircuts because you tripping over two thousand dollars now the principle of the matter is because i know several of y'all out there thinking like bro it's just a thousand dollars bro like don't you got more money than that don't tiktok pay you da, 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 da. tiktok pays me well youtube pays me well both of my facebook pages pays me well outside of whatever it is that i do in my real life you get what i'm saying the principle of the matter is my brother is from louisiana my brother is a self-taught barber he went and got his license just so he can work in a shop and when he come out here and he posting up with all the outside and he's saying yo i'm selling haircuts your sons come down and they sit in there and you gonna sit there and have a nerve to tell me keep lee don't understand y'all not even a part of the brand so i don't feel inclined wow. to give you the money dude you bro like i'm not even playing when it comes to this bro i'm big on integrity i'm big on doing what's right i came out there and i helped you for free i stood in that little bit hot food truck to help you because my friend asked me to and this is the thanks that i get i couldn't even get a thank you from you at wow. the end of the day bro like come on the man walked up and literally said i seen your life i seen this live the wife even said hey sherelle let me see that cheer what, was nobody on the live? Like, come on. Well, I know y'all was on the live, but come on, bro. You got your kids in the background fighting for you. Like, it ain't even your kids. It's that one lady who didn't even want to get in a food truck with you in the first place. That's how I ended up there. If your kids really gave up, I would have been at home in my bed. I would have been at home in my bed. Key Lee would have never seen me type. I would have still popped out. I ain't even gonna lie, because my friend would have told me. But that's besides the point. The sole purpose of this was so you could get the exposure. You get what I'm saying? You wanted the Keith Lee effect. And we did our part to make sure that could happen. And I can't even say to make sure. To, 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 to kind of hope and pray that it would happen. And it did. You know what I'm saying? I'm screenshotting what Keith Lee put on here. 
Oh yeah, and beforehand, that was the email I sent to him today because I, I was serious about my integrity. I was serious about the wow. principle of the matter. If this man came all the way out here and he blessed your business with his presence and to say, he was good as a mother, then the least you can do is get out of the way of somebody else's blessings and honor it after mm. I already told you, you can keep my band. Who running around here saying, I don't want that thousand dollars, you can have it. Who's doing that? And I came and worked for you for free? For free? But today, all of a sudden, you wake up, you got workers. I wanted to leave you $1,000 for doing braids. Wanted to leave $1,000 to the barber so he can cut everybody's hair for free. By the time Keith Lee left, yo, closed the shop down. So the goal was for him to return today, right? But you look my brother dead in his eyes last night when he came to spend money at your establishment and told him, you missed your blessing, but I got the money that Keith Lee gave you. I'm going to give it to you when my money clears. But today you wake up and you sing in a different tune. And we want to tip you $2,000. So at what point of it do you feel like you can play God and step in the way and say, oh, I'm going to block this blessing from this young black man who's trying and wow. do what I want to do? And you think you're and prosper baby i'm gonna make it my personal mission to see that nobody will see sweetly seasoned you hear me i don't care if i gotta post up on every block that you own and make protest videos you do understand that a lot of these people wanted to come out and see my face do you hear it in the live is that true is that true you get what i'm saying i am the clout bro i'm the clout and i'm pissed off and i'm really agitated at the fact that show sat there two days ago and said how your family treated you, how this person, that person, and that person treated you, and I don't know you from a can of paint. And I got up on my bed and I came to help you, and this is the thanks I get. I didn't even get a real thank you. And with all due respect, Keith Lee, I did not want to bring you into, but you did your part, so now I got to do mine. The S effect is in full effect, and I'm on your for show. Sure. This is absolutely wow. crazy. The owner of the food truck came out to respond and she's given a lot of excuses, but she's not addressing two things. Why didn't you give away the $900 mm -hmm. worth of food? And why didn't you give Sherelle and her brother exactly. the money in the first place? That's it, you had two things to do. Give them the money that was donated to them and give away the food that was exactly. donated. If you had done that, you would not be mm -hmm. in this drama. But no, she got greedy. And see, it's the reason why she told Sherelle that she didn't get support from her family and people treated her like this and that. Obviously, when you get the support, you give people your behind to kiss. It's given disrespectful, it's given mm -hmm. ungrateful. You have people not even invested in your business supporting and investing their time and money into your business. And not just that, their audience. Sherelle even getting on the truck to give you a helping hand because on day one, you didn't have help. The owner of the food truck was being yes. greedy over $2,000 when she could have made 50,000 to 100,000 over the next month or so from all the Keith Lee publicity. But no, she was too busy trying to be petty and stop other people's mm. blessings. Well, you just cut off your own blessing, ma'am. All of this over $2,000. Over the next couple of days alone, she could have made $20,000. That's the lesson here. But yeah, I can tell Sherelle really didn't want any problems. She just didn't like the disrespect and the woman trying to get over on her brother. The owner of the food truck is out of order and she should really give them the money. Sherelle and her brother, give them the money. If you want to hear the owner's side of the story, drop part two below in the comments and we'll get into it. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Tell me what you think about this below. Can you even imagine? Kids, Lee gave her money to feed other people for free, for the barber and for braids, and also herself to keep, the, keep her own money, which was even larger. But of course, she don't want to give anybody the money. She just wanted to be so greedy. Because to her, she's made so much money. She's seen it just that day. But she does not even understand that she, by doing so, she killed her blessings. You see the mindset? Greedy people, they just don't learn. But of course, it's always easier to play, play the victim or claim the victim now she's out here coming to say one side of the story. The side of the story doesn't matter. The most important thing is give these people their share of the money, which is simple. It's not that difficult. It's not that hard. But of course, she, the one, she wants to beat around the bush, paint all stories so she don't give them the money. But she thinks that that is how it works. It don't work that way. 
but again i love that she's getting exposed for this so people know know the type of person she is because i mean she used her own hand to block her own blessings not be anybody fault but yeah this was interesting to see this i'm also going to be checking the part two of this one to hear a side of the story what she's got to say but all the same i really love your honest contribution to this what do you think about it you can share the useful information i think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video